Hello and welcome to Base Plate Reviews. Today I'm going to be doing a build and review of the LEGO City set 60417 Police Speed Boat and Crooks Hideout with 311 pieces. This is priced at 35 US dollars, 25 British pounds and 45 Canadian dollars. I know that it looks like it's currently on sale at Amazon with quite a bit off and a lot of these LEGO City sets seem somewhat highly priced almost to the point where it looks like they're priced to discount so effectively you know, in retailers, in shops, that they're almost always, you know, available at 20% discount somewhere. And I think that that would be a more reasonable price. Now, the reason I wanted to pick this up is actually because I'm interested in these kind of shipping containers. Uh, I have actually built a mock shipping container before. I think that's probably one of the first mocks that I did do after getting back into Lego. But we'll take a look at the box here and see what's on, on there shows all the minifigs at the top so we're getting three minifigs and the bulldog so that's nice and looks like the back just shows it from the back but that's fine also shows some kind of play feature where the shipping container opens up and a small boat can shoot out but let's get to opening this building it and seeing what it's like so let's get this open and see how many bags we've got and what the instructions are. Well, they're big bags, and then it looks like there's bags inside there. So, three big bags plus the instructions are coming inside the, con the cardboard container. I like that, it keeps it safe. And looks like one, two, three, so good for building together. You can literally build this with siblings, with your kids, whatever, that's nice. And stickers are pretty minimal. Just five stickers there, and they look pretty reasonable. So anyway, I'm going to get to putting this on a speed build, and I'll be back with you pretty soon. So this is just a quick speed build, it takes about a minute. In real life this took me just over 40 minutes, I wasn't building particularly quickly. There's nothing too complex in here, but I think it's a challenging enough build for those under 10 years old. So the first impressions straight after building that are actually that this has quite a bit of playability. Certainly for, you know, it's not necessarily a display model, although I don't think it looks too bad and could certainly fit into a dock area pretty readily. But these vehicles, pretty nice. That's a semi-substantial police boat. They've saved on pieces by leaving the back here kind of uncovered. There's this slightly odd, almost like a jail cell piece there, but it's certainly not for keeping anything in. Maybe a police dog you could stick back there. Uh, the other thing that I think is slightly out is that maybe you could raise up that wheel so that somebody could drive this boat while standing. It does have to be in a sitting position, but I think I'd prefer someone stood up and driving it and then we've got this kind of jet ski which is uh, very cool and slightly different crook minifig compared to what we're used to seeing is there obviously this would have been amazing to have as a print piece but that was never going to happen and it is a nice sticker piece obviously the black doesn't tend to have many problems matching with the black plastic of the lego and again, pretty nice. You've got the exhaust ports there at the back, just like on the 
back of the boat here we have a nice turbine for the kind of outboard motor type thing and the actual sat itself has a couple of play features so I'll look at them properly but one which allows you to fire the jet ski out of there and also up here this crate can be tipped and it's got some fish in it we've also got a ladder going up the side there and this roller coaster piece has been used to great effect um, I also think that that 3.5 meter headroom sign is uh, really really useful that could be used for bridges and stuff in your city from the back you know it's pretty thin in there you can't really get the bulldog to lap at the bowl of water unless you turn it so it's facing away from us um, or if we move the water elsewhere within there we've got this nice pr um, I was just about to say a nice print piece but this is actually a sticker piece showing presumably the crooks next heist and there's that play feature I was talking about where you can get the minifigs to tip that out and the fish come tumbling down I think the concept would be that it would pour on the cops after they're chasing after them we can try that out if we move the boat around here Actually, I'm going to turn it around so we can see the full effect and if I just get my large adult fingers in there uh, semi-successful one of the fish came out just down here the other didn't but a uh, fun fun enough feature you could put something else in there if you wanted I suppose and finally the last kind of secret play feature is just down here so under the jetty sticking out this can fold up and if we look there we've got a couple of gold ingots so the crooks have stashed some of their ill-gotten gains if they did get raided hopefully that would stay safe for them I think that maybe the satellite dish on top is a bit of a giveaway that this isn't just a regular shipping container but other than that not a bad hideout at all so we'll take a look at the main play feature here which is this kind of green shipping container I've put the jet ski inside and you'll see we've got this yellow and black lever just here and if I hit that I will hold the roof as the whole thing will go flying we should see the jet ski come flying out and sure enough jet skis ended up all the way over there so that's actually pretty nice in terms of the internal area of that shipping container it's not the most attractive we've got the yellows and reds and blues but that could easily be switched up I'm sure but as a play feature really pretty good police speed boats the exact type of vehicle I really like simple but effective and it's got a nice low profile so we can imagine it zipping about built up dock areas etc and I really like that turbine at the back the jet ski seems to be one of the type of things you'd get attached to a Lego City magazine, except there you'd probably get something with a print rather than a sticker. But this is just fine, it has a decent visual design. Onto the minifigures, and the first thing to note is that unfortunately none of these have alternate face prints, but we are getting some unique elements here, so it's definitely not all bad. Starting with the police officer, and I think this is all decent, and I like her slightly weathered face. It's not an easy job after all. First crook is the more standard of the two and comes with that bandana to cover his face which is actually a pity as this is a really nice face print. The torso is unique to the set and printed well on both sides. Finally we have the tracksuit crook and this is lovely stuff with unique torso, legs and face print. Plus the flat top hair has only been seen a couple of times before. I think this is an awesome representation of a more contemporary criminal. Love it. The bulldog's yet another unique element to this set. I'm sure we'll see it in future sets because it really is good. This is just excellent to get in this kind of small Lego City set. It's got that real jowly look of a classic bulldog. Overall, this is of course primarily a play set, but that's no bad thing. 
and I think it has all the elements to be able to be bought as a standalone thing, no extra sets needed, and it will give a kid or two a decent build experience and then fun to play with all the elements and play features afterwards. It looks just fine, you'd likely want to bulk it up a little if you were to place it in a LEGO city, but nothing too major would need to be done unless you were going for high levels of realism. The other thing to note with this set is that it actually introduces a fair few new elements, either completely new or recolours. The most notable is probably this chain link fence piece used in the sides of the main build. I was honestly just trying to work out what I could use as a chain link fence the other day and couldn't see anything, so I ended up building a wall instead in my city. This piece could be a game changer. So as a whole, I really like this, and I didn't expect to. I couldn't wholly recommend it at the recommended retail price, but I reckon you'll be able to find this on discount pretty readily, and if you can, I'd be very positive about this one. I think plenty of the pieces will be parted out and expensive to buy on Bricklink. The Bulldog with this unique colour collar, and especially the chain link fence, should be popular. What did you think of the set? Is it any good to incorporate into a city or just purely a play set for kids? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this build and review and if you did please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing as I'm getting close to 200 subscribers now. Thank you. As always, be good.